On the 30th of November 1991, Carter Smiley Kaufman was born in Birmingham, Alabama. He grew into a golfing family and his grandfather, Alan Kaufman, was the head coach of the men's golf team at the University of Alabama, Birmingham. Smiley played his golf at the Louisiana State University and even picked up the Alabama Amateur in 2011. After graduating in 2014, Kaufman turned pro after finishing 67th place at the Web.com Tour Qualifying School. He got off to a slow start, missing the cut in his first three starts, but it didn't take long for him to find momentum, finishing tied fourth in the next two and winning on his third at a United Leasing Championship to claim his first professional win. He finished the year sixth on the money list and earned himself a card for the 2016 PGA Tour season. His rookie season got off to a flyer. In his fifth event of the season at the Shriners Hospital for Children Open, Smiley shot a final round 10 under par 61. He had to wait around two and a half hours for the final pairing to hold out to claim his first and only win on the PGA Tour. That year he was one of the seven rookies to qualify for the FedEx Cup playoffs, with four top 10 finishes and narrowly missing out on the Tour Championship, ending the season number 43 in the standings. The following spring, Kaufman, who had been something of a late bloomer at LSU, entered the final round of the 2016 Masters a stroke back of leader Jordan Spieth, after having recorded the day's best score at 3 under 69 the previous afternoon. The moment proved too big of a challenge for the 24 year old, who tumbled out of contention with nine bogeys and a double en route to an 81 and a tie 29th finish. Still, Kaufman seemed to be on his way to becoming a star. In the span of 15 months he had won on golf's biggest tour, was the darling underdog story at Augusta National and was enjoying a newfound fame and fortune with buddies Spieth, Justin Thomas and Ricky Fowler on a spring break trip to Baker's Bay in the Bahamas, where the majority was plastered all over social media. That trip wasn't a total waste of time though as Smiley struck a deal with a beer company which made it onto number 37 NASCAR. The boys went viral on several occasions and gained hundreds of thousands of followers on Twitter and Instagram. Kaufman eagerly lived out his life on both for all to see. Yet as quickly as his star rose, it flamed out even faster and more spectacularly. The following two seasons, Kaufman missed 38 cuts in 60 worldwide starts. He shot in the 80s eight times and his scoring average was 75. Along the way, Kaufman changed coaches, changed caddies and couldn't get out of his own way. Unable to process the overload of well-meaning advice and information that was coming in from all directions, he wasn't able to figure out which direction was up and knew his season and exemption on tour was coming to an end quickly. After suffering from earlier injuries in his forearm and wrist, Smiley then started to complain about an elbow injury. He said he was icing it twice a day just so he could play tomorrow and eventually it just gave way. Smiley was also struggling with his newfound fame on social media, loving it whilst he was on top but now hating it now he was at his low. He said it was like reading a newspaper of people telling me I suck. I don't want to see Tom or Joe telling me I suck. Kaufman ended up taking a two month break from social media. During that difficult time, Smiley took the time to concentrate on his personal life, marrying childhood sweetheart, Francie Harris. This chapter in his life was exactly what he needed. Along with getting help from sports psychologist, Dr. Brett McCabe, he was now able to focus on what he wanted to accomplish. In 2019, after losing his card, Smiley filed for a serious medical exemption, but was denied after an MRI scan showed no damage. He continued to play on the Corn Ferry Tour where he didn't make a single cut and still played in the occasional PGA Tour event as an invitee, again making no cuts. Smiley is now competing in 54 hole mini tour events where the winner's check is $10,000. Smiley hasn't won but did manage his first bogey free round in two years. In the 2020 season, Smiley Kaufman earned zero dollars from golf competitions. So what happened to Smiley Kaufman? After rising to stardom in his rookie season, Smiley was riding a wave of fame and fortune at a young age which was apparent it went to his head. Whilst the other spring breakers were winning majors and rising up the world rankings, Smiley was focusing too much on building his social media platform, doing brand deals on Instagram and not giving golf the attention it needed. Were his injuries really that bad? Or was he just looking for a little more time so he could sort himself out? One thing the modern day sportsman has to deal with is social media and Smiley shot himself in the foot. After building such a big audience, when things went south, he had more followers to criticise him. Smiley now sits at 1,529th in the world, his lowest since turning pro in 2014. His 2020 scoring average is still 75 and there is still no sign of that improving. At 29, he's still young and still got time. I think we'll see Smiley on the PGA Tour again, but I don't think we'll see him win again.